It's something everybody here has wondered. In a universe so vast and endless, there must be alien life somewhere. After all, our galaxy, the Milky Way, is home to roughly 400 billion stars, 20 billion of these stars very similar to our sun. And studies have shown an estimated fifth of those 20 billion stars also have a planet orbiting them in their respective Goldilocks zone, a zone in which the temperature is just right for the existence of water. Now, if only 0.1% of those planets actually contained life, there would still be a million planets with life within our galaxy alone. But despite this, decades and decades of analysing our night skies has come to no avail. We still have absolutely no proof of alien life. And this is the foundation of the Fermi paradox. Now, of course, there have been many attempts to try and explain this, but the simplest of which may just lie in the sheer size of the universe. So let's go back to the Milky Way. The Milky Way is massive. An alien civilization at the far end of the Milky Way, somehow capable of traveling at the speed of light, would take just over 25,000 years to reach us. Beyond the Milky Way, we arrive in a group of 54 galaxies by the name of the Local Group, the furthest humanity will ever be able to reach because of the expansion of the universe. A trip from the edge of the Local Group to planet Earth would take much longer, 100 million years longer, but still, this distance only accounts for 0.002% of the observable universe. The universe is just so gigantic that these 100 million year long trips probably wouldn't be worth it, as a civilization this far away would most likely be extinct by the time we reach them. And this brings me on to my second point, time. The universe is roughly 13.8 billion years old, planet Earth 4.5 billion years old. But humans have only been on the Earth for, say, 300 million of those years, which, in comparison with the age of the universe, is not very long whatsoever. To put this into perspective, imagine the universe was 24 hours old. Humans have only been around for the last 30 minutes. What I'm getting at here, who's to say there haven't been countless civilizations roaming around the Milky Way in the hours prior? Perhaps we're just a bit too late or maybe even too early. But I can't end it here without mentioning maybe the most realistic but depressing solution of them all. I'm sure you've guessed it. Perhaps we really are alone in the universe. After all, the scientific evidence we've ever gathered only points to this solution. But that's just for now. Luckily, humanity still has a few hundred thousand years to await a visit from ET. Thank you. Fantastic, fantastic. Well done, Robert. Thank you for rounding off our FameLab talks. Uh, we're going to go over to our judges now. And Joe, is there something you'd like to ask? Yes, uh, well done, Robert. And yeah, thank you for bringing our FameLab talks to a conclusion this afternoon. I've learned a lot from your talk. I always like to learn new things. Um, but I mean, you must have researched a huge amount for this. What was the one thing that maybe stood out for you when you were doing all of this research that maybe just, really surprised you? Know, you? Um, in general, just the size of the, the size of, you know, the local group of galaxies, as I mentioned, I, I didn't, you know, I didn't have really time, or I didn't need to go any further. But the local group of galaxies is, you know, an incon, you know, an, it's it's uncomprehendably small, even compared, you know, it's compared to the whole universe. So it, it's just the universe is, you know, it, you can't even, it's impossible to wrap your mind around how big it is. Mm. Well, you know? thank you very much. Well done. Yeah. Thanks, Joel and Adam. Thank you. That was fascinating. And since you're our last, our last speaker of the day, I thought I'd ask you, what, what have you got out of being part of FameLab? What have you got out of doing this? Well, I think it's, uh, it's really helped with my English skills, like the way, you know, you format your sentences and, you know, and it, 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 it showed me how to get a point across in a concise way, you know, being able to, you know, deliver something you know in just three minutes yeah and i yeah and it, it i really you know enjoyed learning I, i've learned a lot myself you know from researching the topic and 
you know, it's probably improved my confidence, you know, public speaking, anyway. So, Good. yeah. Good stuff, thank you. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Robert. Thank you.